Good morning everyone, Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, back once again with another video and uh, the morning after the game before of course, um, brilliant win, uh, wasn't vintage, wasn't wasn't um, anything to write home about apart from the first 30 minutes, almost a carbon copy of the um, of the Arsenal game, even with the like the timings of the goals for them, very very similar um, to the Arsenal game. So. If you watched our watch along, we was very, very nervous. It was, a, you know, it was, it was all jokes and and whatnot in the in the first half an hour. When they got that goal back, it went very, very, very quiet. It's, um, you know, it's <laughs> it's a tough watch at, at that scoreline. You know, um, thoughts on the game? We got the points. That's all that matters at this stage of the season. We got the points. We're getting the points on the on the board. Um, the more points we get on the board, the more likely European qualification is going to look likely. At the minute, we're in Champions League. Will we stay there? It's going to be tough, especially with them injuries mounting up. Um, when I looked back at the the sort of highlights of the game, the Antonio injury didn't seem too bad. Um, maybe just a precautionary. Uh, we was cruising at the time, so they probably thought like you know we we can't afford to lose him. Obviously, losing Declan. Um, He's, he's, a, he's a massive blow, but you know that Wolves midfield are no are no mugs, mate. You know, and, and um, we got stuck into them, and, and we showed that we can. You know, especially that first half hour, it showed that we can um, deal with life without Declan. How it comes about with the bigger games, um, with the better players. You know, the Chelsea's of the world, Everton's have got you know real world class midfielders. We'll see. Um, but last night they done they done really well. Um, the, the midfield defensively shaky, which is which is worrying because it's the second game in a row. Oggy coming back in the next couple of weeks or whatever uh, will be massive. We've got less the next week. Listen, we keep on saying about you know the the whole thing collapsing and falling down and all that sort of thing. So we're still up there. You know, results went our way. Nobody seems to want to grasp them them points and what we've done better than anyone. Let's let's not forget, like I think a lot of this goes under the radar. I know Wolves are in a bad situation at the minute, they're in bad form. But that is Wolves. Like they're a good side, they're a really good side. Last season they was they was competing for in these spots themselves until the end of the season. Um you know, really good players like the likes of Neves and, and, and that and Jimenez um being out is a, is a, obviously a huge um, lost to them, but they're a good team, you know, with players that can do lots and lots of damage. Dendonka's a good player. Troy always a good player. The stats don't, don't, um, you know, they don't always tell a story. We've we've, we've put seven past them this season, you know. The, the games, and that's away, away from home. I think that last night's one equaled uh, the the amount of away wins we've ever had in a Premier League season. And we've got eight games left, eight big games to be fair. Some of them at home. And I don't know, to be fair, I ain't looked at the stats and whatever. So I don't know how we fare um, at home towards away. It, I might, it might even sort of drift a little bit to the away team. But listen, getting them points on the board are most important. We've already beat Leicester this season at, at, at their place. Um, yeah, we're a couple of men down, but there are a couple of men that have hit so, some form since then as well. So as long as Mickey's okay, um, but. Jesse Lingard, Jesus Christ, what a player he is. I mean, I, I, I'm to be honest with you, I never liked Lingard. I wasn't a massive fan of Lingard's um, when he was at Man United. Didn't think he was that special. Um, knew he had a bit of talent in him, uh, obviously for England as well. Um, but I never imagined that he'd come and hit the ground running like this. Six game, goals in eight games. Um, he's the one dragging us forward. He's the one getting the goals. He's the one getting the assists. What he done... Um, to Connor Cody yesterday on the line was atrocious. Connor, he, he, he fucking packed Connor's bags for him and, and, and sent him off, mate, on his way. It was it was ridiculous that that little pass to Masamaku, what he done, uh, which which created the second goal. It was crazy. But will his value go up? It all depends on on Jesse. I think I think he's he's done his time in United. He's got a year left on his contract. If he really wants to go, I think I don't think United are old a king's ransom for him. Um, I think they'll let him go um, for a reasonable price, something that we can afford if he's happy here and he wants to play football. He's not playing at Manchester United, so hopefully that. But 
listen, just look at that table this morning and be happy. Chelsea fucked up, Tottenham fucked up, Everton fucked up. You know, we just got to keep them going, getting them points on the board. And, and Wolves, like, I was I was worried about the Wolves game because Wolves are a good side. They can cause lots of damage, as they showed. Um, but we've got past the test again, and we go on to the next test, Leicester. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Come on, your irons.